Hey guys, it's me Tom. I'll show you another normal war replay. So we got this kind of pretty good looking anti free star base. But we take it down with e drags. We already noticed that all these all expos on ground. Like, yeah, all expos on ground. And also, we noticed two sweepers pointing the wrong way. So, with e drags, they attack really slow. They attack really slow, the e drags. So, uh, you have to be. You have to react fast and use the warden a bit early along with two rages. And you also need to support them with freezers. So now we do this attack here. Now we use the warden. I think the warden bit was a bit late, but whatever. Now we have some e drags queer in the flanks, and now we get have uh, some e drags queer in the call with the ground expos and stuff. So that helps. And anyway, now we get get taking scatter shot down. Good, good location for this. We need to use this freeze on that. Got a shot or a town hall on the queen and the ego, probably. But well, the CC didn't come out at all, and the dragon loon CC takes out the CC building uh, without triggering any ground targeting troops. So that's good. Now we have three three spells for the back end to work with, which is good as well. The weakness of the Rao Champions are skelly spells, no skeleton traps, uh, enemy heroes, and single inferno towers. Now, since the enemy king is distracted, <coughs> you can safely send the RC to take out, start taking out defenses. Now we took out the ego. Unfortunately, all the e drags died. The thing is, usually you can't really take out a base with e drags alone, unless it's rushed or you're dipping the town hall level. But you need to support with a good hero pathing, <coughs> good back end hero push, I guess if you can call it that. Now we're into pretty big trouble with our RC here. We have to freeze again because usually, not always, but usually. Players put skeleton traps near, near or next to single infernals. <coughs> it's like an annoyance factor, kind of. Now we use the RPC a bit. We even swagger freeze because we've overkilled the space with like ground with these all explodes on ground and sweepers pointing the wrong way and CC troops never coming out. That's a huge advantage to E drag attacker because. That's a lot of things, uh, that's a, f a lot less to deal with now than if it had like witches or something. But even if it has witches, you can still, it still wouldn't matter because uh, the skeletons stay at one place, but the witches themselves, they move towards the e-drags and get wrecked. i say the only issue is probably like Arches and mi mass arches and mass minions, but then again, if you have that, then you're weak to some weak to poison and then another strategy, another attack strategy. Yeah, what well, made this a three star anyway? Number one, good uh, initial push, initial push as in warden ability and two rages. <clears throat> if you can make a good initial push, then uh, you can. You can severely damage it, damage or cripple base heavily, and then if you damage that base, you cripple the top end and the core. Then there's like not much resistance left, and you need to look at f uh, freeze freeze values, like you f uh, freeze points. Although this replay didn't really do the best with freeze timings, 
you need to understand uh, when you need to freeze and when you need to rage. For example, uh, if you freeze in like an air defense, you might as well freeze like an enemy queen or a sweeper or like air expo if they're near that air defense, if you get what I mean. That's just an example. If you use your freezes like that, then you should work out well. But yeah. Anyways, so yeah, with the initial first push, taking out two infernos is pretty huge because then the taking out two infernos is pretty huge because like uh that's less for the RC to deal with, especially with single infernos. But yeah. Uh with the E drags you also want to use a blimp over the slammer. Because if you use a slammer, uh you're kind of limited on uh, how it'll react and how it'll do. Whereas if you blimp, you'll probably get the town hall on a you probably get a town hall as well, so yeah. Uh, with a tornado trap, uh, it's a tricky one, but I say uh, use prepare to be prepared to use your freeze if you wimp catches gets caught in a tornado trap. So it's just got to be safe. But yeah, that's why I say uh, be if your wimp catches a tornado trap, prepare to use freezes or make a plan B. That's my recommendation. But yeah, that's uh, that's how the E drag attack, E drag smash freestyle this space is just initial push and then good taking out a town hall with the blimp and then good back end hero push and good spell placement. Anyways, thanks for watching this guys and I'll see you this peace out.